So somebody recently asked me if I could do an update on Georgetown and I always say that if I have some extra time and I have access to the stats then yes I will do my best to get that update out there. So this one is for you. I hope you enjoy it and uh, this one is going to cover Acton and Georgetown together because uh, the way they report the stats they will report them together but you will see the majority of the sales are for Georgetown like Georgetown makes up like 84% of the market in Halton Hills and Acton is only at 16%. So majority of the numbers you're going to see here will apply to Georgetown. Okay, so um, let's look at the numbers. I've been following um, every single month. I put this together. So um, the peak of the market, just like in every other market, it was uh, February and March in terms of number of sales. So at the peak of the market in Halton Hills, um, there were 118 homes sold on the Toronto Real Estate Board and now it's down to only 50 so that is a drop of 58 percent uh, that is pretty much in line with what else is going on like pretty much all across the board like every market is down 50 to 60 percent i think milton is doing the worst it's down 63 percent okay so uh, let's do a four-year comparison because um, people seem to enjoy this um <clears throat> so i put this together for all of halton hills but like i said before most of it will apply to georgetown because that makes up the majority of the market so a detached house in halton hills was selling for eight hundred thousand dollars in 2019 then it shot up about 200 grand at about a million dollars then it shot up four hundred thousand that is insane four hundred thousand dollars in one year it shot up but look at this uh it came back down four hundred thousand dollars now it is almost at the prices of 2020 which i i'm starting to see more and more markets are approaching the 2020 prices they're not there yet and i'm not sure if they will get there maybe leave a comment below if you guys think we will approach or go below 2020 prices but yeah they every single month they're getting closer and closer so it shot up like four hundred thousand dollars in one year and then it came down four hundred thousand dollars the next year we're gonna go month by month very soon but this is what I want to show you guys every single category like semi semis in uh, Georgetown Acton freehold townhouses condo townhouses condo so pretty much everything you can imagine is here this is for October of each year like October 2019 to October 2022 so let's keep going at um, but yeah if you guys enjoy this kind of stuff you know like and subscribe because uh, it does help out the channel so now let's look at um, prices I'm going to focus just on average prices for uh, Halton Hills. So a detached average price, this is month by month breakdown. You can see here like it passed $1.5 million at, uh, in January, February and March. It came slightly lower in April when the rate, rate started coming in. And uh, so it was selling for 1.56 at the peak of the market. That was in March. And now it is down to, like I mentioned before, it's down to 1.03. That is a drop of 33%. And uh, like I said before, it's kind of in line with what else is going on everywhere, everywhere else. Like detached homes are mostly down right around like 25% to 30% mark in most markets, not every market, but most markets. So detached homes are down 33%. Freehold townhouses are down 24%. They are selling for $866,000. And they were selling for all the way up to like 1.13 in February. So they crossed the million dollar mark a freehold townhouse in georgetown acton was selling over a million dollars and now it is down to 866 it has been down like right around the 850 to 900 mark for the past five months so that's for freehold townhouses in halton hills mostly georgetown uh, condos are not really a big market over there but i want to include it anyway just in case you own a condo uh, or you're thinking of buying a condo in georgetown um, maybe this is helpful to you at the peak of the market same thing march was the busiest month for prices uh, eight hundred forty one thousand dollars for a condo just a standard condo in halton hills was eight hundred forty one thousand dollars and now it is down to six hundred thirty seven thousand dollars that is a drop of 24 percent but keep in mind condos like i said before they don't make up a huge majority of the market so sometimes when you have a small sample size the prices tend to be all over the place because like if you only sell five and they all sell for like 800 one month doesn't mean the prices are 800 next month because the next five might sell they might sell for like 650. so uh, keep that in mind when you have a small sample size it's kind of hard to kind of gauge an exact number 
But uh, yeah, so that's a quick update for Georgetown and Acton. Uh, like I said before, somebody requested it. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one. But if you guys have any requests for any market updates, um, like I said before, uh, if I have access to the stats, like detailed stats, I don't want to just get like generic stats from, you know, the public available websites, because that's not really useful to you. You know, I'm sure you guys can find that yourself. But if I have access to information that I think might be helpful to you, um, I'll try my best to put something together. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.